Hey guys, welcome back. Stay motivated and make another video today. Guys, today I'm showing you um, pretty much full tutorial of Procreate and a couple of reasons why you should buy it and also why I use Procreate to make YouTube thumbnails. Let's go to the app. Okay, so once you enter Procreate, you're gonna have all these projects. Obviously, if you just open Procreate, none of them is gonna be there. It's gonna be only a few examples. You know, you see like these examples on the bottom here, like this one that I'm marking, see like this on the bottom, and there's a couple of other drawings. So anyways, now since we have a bunch of, bunch of our own art, there is a lot of different uh, projects in there. So you open, let's start from the project so on the right side on the top corner you have this plus sign so you click it now you can choose the basically size of your canvas if you want to do some costume you can even click create custom canvas create custom size but we're not gonna do that right now so let's say 1920 by 1080 which is 1080p resolution this app is really cool because it has a lot of different layers so you can for example let's say we want to insert photo on one of them we click this uh, kind of tool sign and then it says insert photo choose you know photo from for example from camera roll let's say we're gonna choose um, let's choose some cool background one second okay so I went to my photo stream let's choose this picture for example we're gonna size it to the point you know which way we like it okay so now we can add additional level uh you can add up until i think until 100 levels which is awesome you click on the right side right here and then you click the little plus sign and you choose another level and now we're just gonna leave it at that so we're gonna work on that level now we insert another picture insert photo now we go to camera roll and uh, for example we're gonna choose my son <laughs> okay so let's click this uh <laughs> this one with subscribe button in here okay there you go so now as you could see when we click this arrow out we have two layers one is this layer and another one is basically the layer with subscribe button right so let's say we just want to erase around it so we're gonna work on this layer we click the erase so you will now incorporate my son to this picture. So we, we create an eraser and pretty much you go around it. And here you go. And by the way, you can zoom it so you can make it more detail. Like this, you see? So the cool thing about it, you obviously use the Apple Pencil. Um, you don't have to, I did that with the finger right now. I'm gonna use the Apple Pencil, it's a little more specific. Uh, and there you go. And see, you can flip it upside down. So it's really cool. You can go more, more in details. Okay, let's increase size of the brush clean some more. And okay, ta-da. <laughs> okay, so that looks cool. So now, you see, the cool thing about it, you can move this layer individually. So obviously this is really cool, see? So now you have the city on the background and my son is in on this layer as well. Additionally, you can pretty much change any layer, change the color and opacity and everything else on the individual layers, which is awesome. So let's let's take care of the, the layer on the back, which is the city, cityscape. I'm gonna go to this icon. See, it says motion blur, opacity. So for example, when I sharpen the picture, you pretty much drag this line, you see the, the line on the very top. The more you drag it, the more contrast the picture is going to have, it's going to be sharpened, I mean sharper. Let's say you want to adjust the hue, saturation, even color balance, you want to make it more, you know, warm or colder, see? Look at that, <laughs> wow, just one click and look how the picture looks different right now. You just make the slider slide, you see? To warmer colors and how incredible is that picture now you see that and like i said this app has i think you can do up to 100 layers especially on a fast ipad pro i'm not sure um so let's say we're gonna 
add another layer I'm gonna show you some cool effect and this is where if you do thumbnails this app is insane so for example we add another layer the layer right now is between the landscape and the my son with subscribe button and we want to put some some cool effects so let's say we want to make some kind of cool glowing effect let's say see on the very bottom it says nebula so this is one of the coolest so we're just gonna leave it at that i don't know the size of it yet but uh okay that should be fine something like that and just look i'm going around my son's picture nice and easy and look at that effect how cool is this you see that so if you do some kind of thumbnails like that comes super handy that uh, glow effect they call it luminance and that actually came with new up update which was like two months ago that makes it so awesome so i'm gonna erase this and i'm gonna show you other things uh for example you have lighting pen in here lighting brush and you see how how my son glows like like around him and yet it doesn't go on his picture but it kind of glows also kind of on the buildings and the other picture slightly and there you go so if you do youtube thumbnails that's pretty handy and obviously you can change color of this as well so let's say we're gonna ch choose let's let's just choose kind of red right now red Let me see, there you go. Yeah, I go on the very border of the of the actual picture. So he has like a red little glow around him right now, you see. But now when you click the layers, the glow is actually on separate layer. So obviously if you're gonna move my sun around, for example, let's choose my sun's layer, okay? So now <laughs> the glow is on separate layers, so I'm gonna put him back. So you can, uh, that's the point of the layers, that you can actually do a lot of stuff. Also you have this kind of flares with the, since we're on the luminance still. You see, <laughs> it's pretty cool actually. I'm just basically touching the screen a bunch of, bunch of times. And you can adjust it, you know, this is pretty huge one. But you can uh, make it obviously smaller, resizes and so forth, zoom. So let's change the color, for example. I mean, see, it's really cool effect actually, right? And then you can do other things like some people like to do, especially on YouTube, right? So you can like... I'm gonna go between layers again. The reason is because I want this layer to be separate. So for example, we're gonna leave it at approximately white color. Okay, this kind of looks white, yeah, there you go. Okay, so when we go around, you see like a lot of people do this kind of like thumbnails. So you can go around and then pretty much draw a line and then you can have this kind of you know cut out effect with with lines be around the subject for example look i'm not, i'm not obviously not an artist so <laughs> don't judge me okay but uh, that's the basically concept of it so now so when there is this little paintbrush pen, pen you can uh, you have a lot of different tools in this app which is amazing you have apps i mean uh, tools for sketching technical pen and so forth pencils some different things you know so let's say we choose the technical pencil let's choose a red color okay so see on the left side on the left side by the way the on the bottom the wire moving is opacity and the other bar that you move is basically size of the brush so okay even if i increase it since we use pencil only technical pen you see the line is gonna be is gonna be pretty skinny because it's some kind of technical pen but if we um uh, if we choose inking 
we can choose some other ones studio pen ink bleed let's say we choose studio pen you see see all the sudden the brush gets bigger delete it I'm gonna delete it again then you have calligraphy tools painting you can have even like some old brush <laughs> dry brush let's say you wanna you know pretend like you you painting something with dry brush you have this kind of effects as well like you don't have paint on the actual brush you have ton of brushes in here artistic acrylic I mean like seriously this app is um, if you're an artist you're drawing stuff all the time you can do a lot of different things with it you have even some textures which is kind of silly but still if you want to do it so now now once you're brushing is actually developing a texture so the cool, cool thing about this let's say you want to make somebody's room painting on the wall you can pretty much just go like this and it creates the texture by itself you see i didn't do anything i was just pretty much swiping it around the screen sweeping it like back and forward and it created the cool texture let's test out some other texture i'm just gonna go up and down incredible right <laughs> one of the coolest um in the elements see i clicked elements is a uh, oceans or watercolor especially watercolor um for example like you see when we're gonna do this so see on the bottom screen when the water is it kind of makes like a watercolor like you know the little waves of water i mean obviously this is more for like swimming pool you know the the kind of effect when the camera looks at the swimming pool on top so you can do a lot of stuff in here so let's some let's just add some other layer okay there is some i chose my son's picture i'm gonna do the same with this except for i'm gonna do it like this okay i'm gonna erase it as well I just wanted to rough cut out obviously so I'm not like trying to be perfect in here I just want to show you a quick tutorial when I click this I can move the layer individually and and you can also obviously fix it so you can increase the brightness for example you see my son's brightness uh, obviously the picture has to be a little bit good quality but you know you can make it darker more bright yeah so the <clears throat> The coolest thing about this app is definitely layers since each layer you can move individually so whatever you're doing here you see you can put it behind if you want to switch switch the layer around all you do is hold it with your finger or your apple pencil so the layer right now that is marked on blue I pretty much swipe it like this and now now this layer is behind this one the only thing that this app actually doesn't have is text unfortunately so if you're doing any kind of uh, thumbnails you need to text you need to get it somewhere else okay but let's show you also a couple of things of uh, simple drawing uh, there is a couple of cool things in here one of them for example let's just choose uh, inking technical pen <laughs> medium size blue so you know you're drawing on the screen like this so let's say you want to draw a straight line so you go like this and then you hold it in one position and you see and this is gonna pretty much go straight by itself you release it and off you go so once again I go like this and I I go sideways and then once you hold it on the end you don't move the pencil or your finger then pretty much it goes straight by itself the line which is cool okay. there you go. so the background color is usually white if you want to change it then basically you go to this to the background color and you can change it <laughs> for some some art you might want to draw on see on blue i mean uh, on black color or whatever color you prefer if you want to start your canvas from different color so you know if if you do some art and uh 
you you can do pretty much any color you like you can adjust it in the settings obviously most of us they're gonna probably start from like white color and even when you draw you can also use uh, different layers as well so for example we're gonna draw on the first layer we're just gonna make some some s simple painting let's say we increase the size so we put X then we go to another layer and I change the color and we're gonna we're gonna pretty much do like a smaller X we're gonna go around this one and then go to another layer again and we're gonna put some flaring effect so we go to luminance <clears throat> and we're gonna make this X but we're gonna make it So it's cool, right? But now you have all these layers separate. It looks like a one picture, but all the layers come separate. So now you can basically move them individually. So let's say I want to move this, you see, one layer. Go to the second one. Choose this. See, all these layers are separate layers, which is really cool. So you can move them around. If you want to combine them later, that's fine. But if you want to have them separate, so you can pretty much you know do anything you want with those pictures and here you go so I came back to my Sansa gallery ga gallery again sorry my son's picture or project so now if you wanna for example I know it doesn't have um, text in it but let's say you create your own text and I'm gonna use lighting pen in this case and I wanna hide it behind my son so you're gonna say for example New York, right? Yeah, so now now is basically this New York sign is covering covering the two pictures of of my kid, right? So now obviously you can move it around. So let's say we go over in this layer and then we move the and we hit this one and we move it between the layers see so now so now basically they don't cover anything so you can have this layer separate you see here you go and this is basically the coolest thing with this app also you can obviously turn any layer that you like so for example I'm gonna turn the York sign and you can go you can go basically 90 degree angles I mean not 90 it's like uh, 45 degree first I believe oh by the way um, you see on the very bottom it says magnetic free form or magnetic so now keep in mind if you do it free form, then you can pretty much freely move it all over the screen, like turn gently and and basically it doesn't go by some certain degree. You move it freely like this. But if you wanna move it magnetic way, I'm oh, sorry, free form. See now I'm moving it freely. So that means if I turn it, it just goes smoothly across the screen. But if I wanna do magnetically, so once I turn it, it can it tries to snap into the into certain position. You see, it tries to always snap into certain position because it's magnetic. Uh, if you if you wanna resize it, I would recommend that you do it magnetic way. See, because it resizes it even, evenly. Otherwise, it's gonna make it you know 
less thicker or taller and you don't want that. Also, you don't have to delete the layer to hide it. So for example, I want to I wanna hide these two layers, but I do not want to delete anything for now. So I can just click like this. And you see this little sign on the layer on the right side check mark, check uncheck, and then another layer uncheck. And see now, now the signs are not there. So anytime I can come back to the layer, which is really great, I can click it and right there they are. But if I wanna just leave it, because sometimes you think you wanna delete something, but you don't need to, you know? So you can pretty much leave the layers up there if you wanna use it for something else without deleting it, which is also a good plus. So for example, you wanna change something on the t-shirt of my son. You obviously gotta zoom it in. And this is not gonna be perfect, but just to get the concept, you see. We're gonna try to change it to look a little cooler. Okay, isn't that cool? Awesome, right? This app also has a good palm rejection. I know this is not a perfect picture right now because um, I don't have setup for this actually. But you can see my iPad screen on the right corner where I was, where my camera was. So for example, if I do like this, I'm drawing, but you see over here, it didn't make any marks. So this app and the iPad Pro with the pencil the palm rejection is pretty good. Let me raise this. So let's try again, okay? So so basically, if I'm gonna start doing something like this on purpose, you see with my finger, uh, of course then, you know, with, even with my palm, it's gonna make marks. But now, when I use the pencil only, and I'm gonna pretty much raise my, my palm on the thing, on the iPad, I'm touching right here. See? See where my hand goes? It's sliding on the screen. I don't know if you can see it right now, but it's not making any marks. There, right there on the corner. That I did that before. So see if I do, if I'm writing or doing anything, the palm rejection is incredible. I'm actually resting my hand on the iPad while I'm doing this. And uh, nothing happened, right there. You see this area here? There's nothing happening which is another great benefit. So I wanna show you also something else. If you want just, for example, only the cutout, let's say you, you erase, you know, some something around the subject or, you know, um, a person, and you want only the background cutout, you can do this also. So once you click the gallery, so now you can pretty much share it, and that way you share it as PNG. If you share it as PNG, then basically this is gonna go, um, this is gonna go only as a, yeah, it's gonna show, it's gonna show the black background, but then if you put it to any program, like for example, sometimes I even put it to Final Cut Pro to demonstrate something, then it's gonna show, only show the cutout itself without the background. It's just gonna be, you know, my kid himself, for example. Okay, so let's say let's say you you like this project and you wanna share it. So there's a couple of options here. First of all, you click the gallery on the corner. Gallery. Then you have all these projects. It saves it automatically, by the way. You have all these projects. Um, so you slide one of them. Let's say this one uh, on the top, the one you, we just did with New York and so forth. So you slide it. So you slide it to the side and you share it. Um, I usually share it in JPG. Uh, I think the higher quality is TIFF. So pretty much JPG, you click it and, uh, and you have all the options here. So if you wanna, let's say, save the image, save it. We'd like to add to your photos, okay? And then we're gonna exit this app. We go to the photos and that's it right there. Here is your image, you see? right there in your photos.
that's it done one second takes one second let me show you this other one that we did for my son's thumbnail so we basically did um, you know there is Cosmo the little robot in separate layer and I uh, I put uh, I put this little glowing effect around it the blue um, I put the blue luminance effect around it and it looks nice and obviously when we went to Final Cut Pro then we pretty much um, you know put the letters on it because <laughs> this one doesn't have text so let me show you how this looks with basically the how this looks as a full thumbnail so see it got a little darker but you get an idea so this is on my son's YouTube and we just I just put this in Final Cut Pro the letters I know I have a lot of YouTubers that use a PicMonkey which is I believe free software but for me personally I rather pay this $10 and use this app because this app is amazing I mean the stuff you can do with Procreate for $10 and the thing is you pay it one time so it's like it's amazing you can move the layers you can do a lot of different things if you actually very artistic like you have skills to draw and paint and do sketches like this app is incredible um, I was actually doing the thumbnails with my finger only but um, you know I bought this pencil I didn't use it for a while even uh, but now I use it in conjunction with this conjunction with this app and it works only better yeah so see all the projects are saved we do a lot of stuff from the for the thumbnails obviously you know and um, I wish this app would have text I don't see it I don't know if I cannot find it for some reason but I don't see the text in it if you know how to find text in Procreate please let me know below and also if you click the app it opens really quickly let me just show you something as one second so see this app is very created that was same thing my son was sitting on the couch and um, and I pretty much move him around like this and uh, set him close to this uh, icon from the game the the lady creature I mean <laughs> lady creature so basically um, you know he's sitting close to the gaming character it's so cool so I wish I could draw like a pro or paint I cannot do it and for some reason <laughs> So I wish one day I'm going to be able to paint and draw. For now, I don't have this kind of skills. <laughs> I think you have to be born with it or you can probably learn. But if you're creative, you just want to do something cool and different, then this app is definitely worth it. And, um, and if you're looking for app to edit your photos, um, this is not a, obviously not a Photoshop. I mean, I don't know how far away the Photoshop from this app would be because I, I mean I don't have it I never use Photoshop uh, this is this app so far is the coolest thing on the planet for us for me and my son my son is just not really using it he is drawing like simple stuff occasionally but I'm using it for the thumbnails mainly and it really works so stay motivated make another video today and what better way to start than create some art for your videos so if somebody actually sees your icon of your video your icon is gonna look amazing thank you so much so much guys thank you for watching and by the way if you record video on mobile click right there on the bottom on the right side this is the this is the best mobile editing video editing app you can possibly have and it also costs a couple of dollars that one is monthly so check that out thank you for watching see you next time peace